What is up, Freedom Fighters? Dean Soto here, and we are actually having a power outage right now. It's in the middle of the day, so you can't really tell. Um, and we also have uh, <clears throat> we have solar and batteries and things like that where we're at. And so uh, it's uh, nice to have those things. And uh, but hopefully, uh, with the storm coming through, hopefully it, it goes back on for everybody. Man, interesting, interesting times, wouldn't you say? So. Anyway, let's get into the biggest investing mistakes that you should avoid. So I'm not used to wearing a hat. Should I wear the hood? What do you think? Should I wear the hood? Kind of looked cool when I was wearing the hood like this. Also, I have my hat. Where's my hat? My hat's gone. All right, never mind. We're not wearing the hat. I'll wear the hood today. And uh, if I feel like it, I'll take it off. No, let's just, let's just take it off. It feels weird. All right, so biggest investing mistakes that you should avoid. Well, of course, we'll do it with three. And then at the very end, I will tell you the best investment that you can make. And you'll be, you maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe you'll be surprised at why, what that is. I don't know. We'll see. So let's get into it. Mistake number one, the stock market. <laughs> why do I say mistake number one? Uh, why do I say that? Mistake number one being the stock market. Not that you can't make money on the stock market. I actually invest. I uh, I put money in the stock into stock markets. I mainly trade uh, puts and calls. I do. I trade options. However, the thing that you have to the, the the biggest mistake when you are thinking about the stock market is seeing that as investing. Okay, you know, we've see we see Wolf of Wall Street, we see all these different movies that 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 tell us that if you want to be an investor, you got to invest in the stock market, right? That's that's where you invest, whether it's your 401k or whether it's just buying and selling stocks, things like that. Seeing it as the, seeing the stock market as your primary way of investing, it's not investing. Uh, and I used to do I, I used to think this too. And like I said, I'm not saying that you can't make money on the stock market. In fact, I put myself through college playing the stock market. <laughs> and so it's not that it's not investing, but that when you have the mindset that that's the only way to invest and that's the best way to invest, that's where you kind of go wrong, okay? And where you can really go wrong. All right, so tip number two, the number two thing to avoid is investing in things that don't bring an immediate return or don't bring cash flow. If you have not read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or The Cash Flow Quadrant, or pretty much any other thing that Robert Kiyosaki has put out, everything that you invest in should have an immediate return. So when you are investing in your 401k or you're investing in a stock that you want to go from 50 to 100 and you think it's going to go that way in two years, that is not investing. That is called gambling. That is not investing. So we want what the biggest thing that you want to do is invest in something that brings cash flow, passive cash flow. It can be by every quarter. It can be every month. It could be every, uh, you don't want to go really every year, but something that's going to bring cash flow on a regular basis. So for example, stocks could be that, right? You have dividend yielding stocks. In fact, one of the most successful stocks that I owned was a stock called, well, I'm not gonna tell you the stock. It, it was an R REIT, Real Estate Investment Trust. Um, I also had some other trusts. There are a lot of trusts out there that um, have stocks that give you royalties. And those would pay me every quarter and it would be sometimes up to a couple thousand dollars every quarter. And then when also when the stock went up, guess what I could do? I could sell it, right? So you can get these dividend paying stocks or royalty paying stocks, royalty investment trusts and things like that. And those bring back cash. They bring back money and you can put those that dividend back into buying more more of those types of stocks or whatever but you generally want to have some kind of dividend yielding stock you, you one thing though is you know the big guys the big dividend yielding stocks like you're really not going to get anything back you'll get a few pennies 
So even with that, you want to find companies that are uh, undervalued or unknown and things like that. I'm not going to say any that I've done here. There's one that I that I invested in that uh, starts with an M. The other one starts with an I. The other <laughs> there that those ones uh, were giving me a, a lot of money every every uh, every quarter. And in fact, there was one that was giving me one every month, which was kind of cool. But that's the idea. Start doing passive income. So for, uh, for me, one of, oh, I thought, thought someone was coming, but it's the wind. The wind is like making all these sounds and there's an oak tree right next, uh, oak tree right next to my office right here that I'm like, please oak tree, don't, don't, don't fall on me. Because it's a real, <laughs> it's a real possibility. So if that happens, I'm dead and you'll see my death live on YouTube. Anyway, so that being said, what were you we talking about? Oh, passive income. You want things to start uh, giving you income. So an investment that gives you some kind of income could be a car. What, Dean? How could it, how could it be a car? What are you talking about? A car is a liability, right? A car, no. If you purchase a car, maybe at a, at a Hertz rental, a rental car, and they're giving a used one or whatever, and you use it to Uber or do Postmates or to do uh, whatever services out there where you can start delivering stuff and driving people around, that is an investment. That's And that is a cash flow, not necessarily a pa passive cash flow investment, but a cash flow investment. So back in the not too long ago, I got a Honda Sonata that was a year old that uh, had like 70,000 miles on it or whatever. Got it for like $9,000 at Hertz, like a Hertz used car lot. And you think all you have, one, if you own a business, you can write that off and you have depreciation and everything like that. Then on top of that, go and drive as long as you, you know, once you hit that $9,000 in profit after gas, after all that other stuff, it's all gravy from there. You literally uh, uh, are making all that, uh, everything after that is is money coming in as an investment and a return on that initial investment. So we, we can talk houses are can be a passive income investment. You can have, you can invest in somebody's business where you say, hey, I'll give you X amount, but I want to have a certain percentage or I want to be a part of it or whatever. These are things that are, are, are going to bring you cash flow back. Okay. All right. Number three, number three is seeing that there are so, is, is seeing, is, is being, how do I want to say this? How do I, uh, because it kind of goes along with the stock market thing. When you focus on one thing as an investment, you miss out on a ton of opportunities, other opportunities. Okay. So is investing in the stock market and your 401k and in a CD and a money market account and in uh, the S&P 500, what are, are, is that, is that really diversifying your portfolio? No, as, as Robert Kiyosaki would say, you are diversifying it. Okay. You're not diversifying anything because it's all in the market. It's all in the stock market, right? So, but when you are investing in a business, somebody's business over here, you give them a thousand dollars to buy a piece of equipment and you say, Hey, at the end of, uh, at the end of the year, I just like to have like 5% of whatever you're doing and I'll help you out as well. Whatever it is, whatever the agreement is, that is an investment. And obviously as they're, as they're not, you wouldn't say at the end of the year, you know, every month as you know, I just want 5% of the profit or whatever. Um, an investment might be buying into a, uh, into an already existing business system, right? So you're investing into something that's already proven and it's bringing in and it starts bringing you cash back, right? Because you're selling something or whatever. Uh, obviously you have to be careful with those. Uh, you never know. They, some of those can be scams, but seeing that you want to be in different markets. So you want to be in, so physical gold, physical silver, very different than a stock, which is literally just paper. I mean, as I'm saying this, like the economy is pretty much collapsing, right? 
um, if you're if, if you're paying attention to anything at all, it's pretty much collapsing. But what's the market doing? The market's like, yeah, we're going to the moon, baby. We're going to the moon. Yes, we're going. Right? That's what they're doing. But as as literally the floor underneath them is is crumbling. The market, the market has nothing to do really with the economy until everything tanks, right? So getting from getting in and diversifying into multiple things. So it could be putting in your money into a business. It could be, uh, it could be uh, um, into a, so in, uh, into a business. It could be uh, investing in to a piece of equipment. For example, we have a, an excavator over here that we rent out to people, right? So anybody who wants to use my excavator, I rent it out to them. They, they, and and obviously you wanna be able to pay it back, but the an excavator, an E50 right now, E50 Bobcat, probably around $4,000 a month, right? Um, to rent it out, uh, that's pretty much standard, right? So after about, 10, uh, about a year, that's totally paid for, and somebody else just literally paid for my, yeah, that's weird. I, uh, so I, someone just uh, texted me and said my power is out, but uh, everyone else is on. Weird. Uh, anyway, the uh, <laughs> what was I saying? The uh, uh, so yeah, just diversifying into multiple different things. Okay, and the number one investment that you can make. What do you think it is? Investing in yourself through books and education on business, audiobooks. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. All right. So all that being said, Dean Soto here, Freedom in Five Minutes. I'm gonna go see why my power is out and nobody else's is uh, out and see what's going on with that. So anyway, Dean Soto, Freedom in Five Minutes, and I'll see you in the next Freedom in Five Minutes video.